What is it? Arr, 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 arr. What is it? Get him! Get it! Get it! Oh! Oh no! What are you doing? Are you... No! No! Leave it! Leave it! Sit! Good boy. You wanna go catch a fish? You wanna go get a fish? You wanna go catch a fish? This dude loves fish. Let's check on our bass. Where are they at? Oh yeah, tank nose. There's one of them. Check him out. Just chilling, sitting on a bed. What's up everybody? It's time to remake one of my most popular videos on YouTube. However, when I made it, it was brand new to YouTube. I didn't know what I was doing and I was boring. So we're gonna revisit why I use a super cheap kayak and why I still use a super cheap kayak even though I got a boat. Go get him. If you're new to the channel, this is Tank. He has a little blue pit and he loves fish and he hates chipmunks. I have had a ton of support for this video. A lot of you were really happy that I did a review about a cheap kayak. So this is a Sun Dolphin Aruba 10. Obviously the 10 stands for 10 foot. Okay, so first off, let's revisit why I purchased this in the first place. Let's set the scene. I was 23 years old, 24 years old. I was working like three jobs. Me and my wife were both in college and we were paying all of our own stuff. We were actually living in a mobile home in a not so nice part of Indianapolis. But I wanted to go fishing. Can't get your butthole out the video. So, I knew I wanted to be able to go fishing. I was tired of shore fishing and we didn't have a lot of money bought these suckers for 150 bucks each. Now what led me to the conclusion that this would be sufficient for me? Uh, it floats and I could fish from it. That's all I needed. You see people out here with $3,000 kayaks and that's awesome. Good for y'all. A lot of people can't have a boat and I have a boat. I'm blessed to have that boat. And those people are blessed to have $3,000 kayaks. But for my purpose, I wanted to get out on water. I wanted to float around. I wanted to cast. I wanted to catch fish. And this kayak has provided that for me. I didn't need all the bells and whistles. I didn't need anything crazy. I didn't even really need storage. I just needed to be able to put some stuff inside of here and like maybe one small thing, a tackle, maybe um, one rod behind me, like I can tuck it in right here. And that has served me very well. But one of the things I knew that I wanted in a kayak that doesn't really matter about price because they make cheap ones both ways, I wanted it closed off. I didn't want like a big open front because I knew I was gonna take this out on a couple rivers, a couple creeks, and I wanted everything to stay contained inside with me. I didn't want stuff flipping out, getting kicked out, whatever. And this works just fine. I can still put like a tackle box in here. I've had a cooler, a tackle box. Uh, I've slid stuff in here behind, like between here and here, a uh, little opening right here. I have slid stuff in there for storage, like on long trips on the creeks and rivers. And then I can even slide a rod right here and it can like pop out under my shoulder while I'm fishing, works for me just fine. I just want to reiterate too, I'm not dissing on nobody with nice kayaks. I want to make that abundantly clear. Some people in comments on the last video were like, oh, it's because you can't afford a nice kayak or you're jealous. I'm not jealous at all. One of my closest friends has like a $2,500 kayak and he just goes out there and burns it up. He will fish like 12 hours a day. He has like milk crates bungee to the back. That's awesome. Go you guys. But for me, this is all I need. And I apologize. It's super dirty, but guess what? It's a super cheap kayak. So another thing that I really wanted to make sure I had with this kayak or with whatever I purchased, I wanted it to be lightweight. I mean, you've seen those like kayaks that literally need like tires and you drag them out behind you or like you can only pull them on a trailer behind a car or a truck. No, I needed to be able to carry this. Actually, these are so light that I used to carry mine and my girls and she would just carry her stuff. I don't know. I got a sweet dad bod going on, so like I'm not super fit right now. Awkward, that's that's the only thing is it's big and awkward. But I could easily carry this one. I could carry two at the same time. So we knew we wanted something like that. We knew we wanted something that was really lightweight. We've had like four of these in the back of the truck, bungee them down, good to go. So I knew I wanted something that I could transport easily. This fits the bill. Just to be able to get out on the water. I hadn't had a boat in my family in 12 or 13 years at that time. I go out and I buy these. I go out, hit the water, catch four or five keeper sized fish in, you know, a couple hours. That felt amazing. This fits my bill. Maybe it doesn't fit your bill. Maybe this is too expensive for you. Maybe you gotta go something cheaper. 
Maybe this doesn't satisfy what you need. This video isn't for you. If your price is up here and you have a set amount of things you need in a kayak, that's fine. You don't have to go out and get a super cheap kayak depending on what your needs are. If you're about to go hit the ocean or you're gonna go out sturgeon fishing and you're gonna be pulling in a hundred pound fish, what have you, maybe this ain't for you. This is for those who have looked up this video because they wanna hit the water, they wanna save money, they wanna have fun, and they can do it with a budget kayak. This video is for you. So let me address something in the other videos that people had a problem with. A lot of people thought this was some kind of sponsored ad. Trust me, Sun Dolphin ain't paid me nothing. Trust me. I don't really care what brand you buy. It's not really about that. If you're out looking for a budget kayak because you want to go fishing and you want to save money, buy whatever you need to. Maybe in your area you have something cheaper than this. Maybe you have a competitor type kayak and it has more options for the same price. Do it. The other thing about a super cheap kayak is your resale value. You go out and buy a $3,000 kayak, you're probably gonna have trouble selling that if you ever wanna upgrade or change or maybe your needs no longer meet the criteria for that kayak. Whereas this sucker, 150 bucks, I could probably put this on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. I could easily sell this for 100, 120 bucks. And I know that because I see it every day. People are selling cheap kayaks all the time. Maybe you don't even need a brand new kayak yourself. Maybe you can go out and buy a used kayak. Maybe that's how you get a super cheap kayak. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe, and stick around with me and Tank. Check out Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.